giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All right, so uh, we're going to move on to the FTC Top 25. So tonight we have the FTC Top 25. This was our first Top 25 voting this season, and we will have another one after both championships have completed. Uh, the link will be released right after the Detroit Finals finish, uh, and voting will be open through Tuesday, April 30th at midnight. So make sure you vote. Tell your teammates to vote. Tell your mentors to vote. Uh, tell your fellow robotics friends to vote. So let's jump right into our uh, Top 25 and get this ball rolling. All right, so we can start off with our 25th ranked team, 12599 Overcharged. And that's Team Overcharged from Portland, Oregon. Their sponsor is Spark Technology, and they are going to be competing at Houston in the Franklin Division. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think about Overcharged? Uh, their reveal is quite awesome. Yeah, I mean, they seem to be a really solid depot team. And, I mean, they proved that at Oregon. And with their swerve drive, I don't think they'll be – I don't think they'll be uh, – I don't think they'll be pushed too often by the McCannum box. But, sure. yeah, I mean, I think they have a solid run going for them, and it should be really interesting to see how it plays out for them in Franklin. I think they're also one of the only shooter bots that I've seen, so they definitely have a good shot in the judging area mm -hmm. where they could potentially um, get Innovate Award or something like that. Right, yeah, them and their sister team are revamped. Yes, for yeah. sure. And I think that shooter does have some strengths playing depot because just by nature, you're only shooting one mineral at a time versus just a standard lift will move two at a time. So that extra drive time, I think, can help out a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, totally, we'll yeah. move on to our 24th ranked team, Team 7161. And that's Viperbots Hydra from Austin, Texas, uh, coming from the Van Greith High School. Um, they're going to be competing at Houston in the Jeminson division. Uh, and as we were talking about them earlier, they're just quite awesome. They're going to have a great robot. I think they're going to do quite well. Anything else to add? I mean, we covered it pretty extensively earlier. So, I mean, just a quick re recap, Solid Depot bot probably going to do really well. Yeah, I think so too. Every alliance needs a pretty Solid Depot bot, and they're shaping up to be really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we move on to our 23rd ranked team, Team 12611 Technova. And they're from Renton, Washington. They are a community team. They will be competing at the Houston World Championship in the Jeminson division. So I actually spent a lot of time watching this team because I was watching the Washington State Championship, and they were quick. Um, compared to anybody else at that championship, they were clearly one of the best teams at the championship. Um, I think they have the battle-tested experience that we brought up earlier in the show. And it's going to be interesting to see how a line selection goes for them because they could end up very high seated or very low seated depending on how match schedules goes. And so it will be interesting to see when they get picked. Uh, Ishan, I kind of slightly disagree with you about the whole battle tested thing because last year, yes, they were part of the winning alliance, but they were actually, that was their rookie year. And I think like they have played on that great of a stage, but they just don't have the type of experience that comes from like years and years of play. Oh, and true. I do think they're going to perform really well though. I think that, so too. That's true. They haven't seen everything that there is, but mm -hmm. just to be able to play on Da Vinci field. Um, oh, definitely. It, yeah. Test your drivers in a different way oh, that they've yeah. never been tested before. And they're a scoring mechanism. So cool. I mean, we see a bunch of like sliders, but theirs just flips out and scores. I really enjoy watching that. Very interesting. All right. Up on to our 22nd ranked team. We have team 10635. And that's Unknown Element coming from Batavia, Illinois. They are also a community team. They will be competing at the Detroit Championship in the Ochoa Division. Um, we were just talking about them. My team was partnered with them at Illinois State. They're an awesome robot, super fast. Uh, in my opinion, just pretty simple and straightforward. It's an aluminum frame bot, uh, really cool, works well, super reliable. Uh, something interesting about their team that I don't think most people know is they were actually, a, I believe, a fairly competitive VEX team. I know they were a VEX team. I'm pretty sure they were fairly competitive, though, before they started doing FTC. Um, mm -hmm. I was talking with their lead driver, and um, you know they they just awesome at robot building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see them right here. They're at the uh, on the Red Alliance creator side. They're just super fast. Yeah, interesting. And I think they've gotten even faster for Worlds. So we'll see what comes up with that. I'm pretty sure they're going to be one of the top ranked teams in the Ochoa division. 
I'm excited to see how they turn out for sure. All right, on to our 21st strike team. We have team 11260. And that's Upper Creek Robotics from Longmont, Colorado. Uh, they are sponsored by the Gear Alliance, and they will be competing at the Houston World Championship in the Jeminson Division. Mm-hmm. So we saw a lot of Upper Creek this year, um, especially from their robot reveals and region recaps. I'm interested to see if they end up shaking up that depot side with their drive-in. I think that Definitely. could end up being really nice for defense. It's just like Seven Sigma that we talked about earlier. I would be surprised yeah. if they last through the first round of picking just because as right. a captain, I would never want to play against them because if I'm extending my arm into a crater, I don't want other robots in there. Sure. Yeah, that yeah, I definitely agree with that. They have a beautiful design. I mean, I just I'm gonna be so excited. I'm so excited to actually see it uh, in real life. And it's so simplistic, like yeah, it's just. And I think that one of the cool things that they've done is that rocker bogey suspension that they've got on their drivetrain. They have mm-hmm. no problem getting over that crater. Some of the other teams that drive into the crater, they get a little bit stuck. They have a little bit of a bump and they have the potential to tip over. No way that this robot's going to tip over or get stuck on this crater. Well, I'll just say that these wheels would be pretty awesome in um, rescue. Yeah. Uh, my team had somewhat similar uh, wheels. They were pretty uh, some similar design uh, and thought process, but yeah, th- that kind of wheel design is awesome for getting over whatever you need to get. Uh, Ishan, you mentioned a uh, robots tipping over. Do you think that could happen like in the playoffs or in even the finals at, at either worlds? I would be surprised if it didn't happen in a single match at worlds. I'm not sure it's going to happen in the finals just because of how selective right. the finals are. Um, right. But there could definitely be defense that causes a tip or they, there could just be nerves that cause a tip. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Sure. I don't think too many robots are very top heavy. It's not like FRC last year where teams are just constantly tipping. Yeah. Um, All right. Next up in our 20th slot, we have team 69, 29. And that's data force from Highlands ranch, Colorado. Uh, they are sponsored by the, Moranon Foundation. They're going to be competing at the Houston World Championship, also in the Jeminson Division. So they won the World Championship in Velocity Vortex, and they've come back strong. Um, as always, they have one of the best robots, definitely a world-class robot. Um, they're very quick. And one of the interesting things to note about them is they can play both close crater and depot side, and they're very quick at both. Um, I've seen them in Montana. I think when they were paired with Black Diamond, which is um, a really top tiered robot, they've played uh, Depot side. And then when they've played with some other weaker teams, they play Crater. So they're very adaptable. Mm-hmm. I yeah, I mean, last year they were a very consistent robot. And I think they're just going to keep it up. For sure. And that, like, being able to switch between playing Crater and Depot has a lot of strategic benefit because if you're playing in Qualls, with a partner who isn't as strong in one place. You can kind of mm-hmm. shift your focus and be able to work with them really well. Mm-hmm. All, right, All right, on to our next yeah. one. Yes, so our 19th ranked team, Team 7203. And that's the Robo Avatars uh, coming from Fremont, California, sponsored by Stream Educational Foundation. They will also be at Houston in the Jeminson division. Jeminson's representing in this top 25 so far. Um, Ethan and Nathan, I believe Robo Avatars is actually 7303. And uh, uh, K03 is right. 7203. Yes. Uh, they very much might be. <laughs> I all copied right. this down from our chat. Uh, let me confirm. 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Oops. So, K03 makes a lot of sense. They're pretty darn strong this year. Yes, and yes. they are about every year. So I'm excited. They're another one of those teams who can kind of shift their focus from Crater to Depot really super easy. So they can kind of maximize the number of cycles they can score with whatever partner they're put with. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yep. All right. Uh, yes. And their LED is really nice, too. Sorry right. about that mix-up. I don't know. <laughs> some wrong information in our uh, spreadsheet here. But, okay, on to our 18th ranked team. We have team 5064. Uh, that's Aperture Science coming from uh, Eli, North Carolina. Uh, they're sponsored by the Western 
Alma uh, Mace, Alma Mance High School, uh, and they will be at the Houston, uh, the Houston World Championship from the Franklin Division. Sure. So I think this is our first Franklin Division team. So that'll be really interesting to see. Sean, can you meet yourself? Good to see, Sean. Ah, uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> guys. Hard to find. Let's see. So right, we've seen a lot of 50-64 from even just the past few years. They were really notable last year and in Velocity Vortex. So I'm yeah. excited to see them come back with hopefully a lot of improvements on that double lift. And uh, yeah, as we were talking about earlier, they have the one of the second highest score in the world right now, uh, 522 points. Uh, so they should be uh, pretty competitive. For sure. All right, now on to our 17th ranked team. We have team 98 and 99. That's uh, Black Diamond from uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, coming out of Liberty Common Charter School. Uh, they will be at the Houston World Championship in the Jeminson Division. For sure. And they're another one of those teams we saw pretty strong last year. And I believe they're one of the first arm bots we've seen on our list so far. So I'm interested to see how they end up playing out champs, see if they've made any improvements or if they've decided to go with a different strategy. Mm -hmm. I know coming to Relic Recovery at Worlds last year, 98-99 yeah, was such a like just scary team to watch. Like They were so effective and efficient at what they did. It was just like, wow. Like when, Whenever I saw them, I was just stunned. For sure. And their team branding as a branding nerd is so nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sure. I believe one of, their, uh, one of their teammates actually won the Dean's List finalist award last year. So that's mm -hmm. really cool. That is. Yep, All one right. of their teammates was a winner at Houston. Yeah, a winner. Sorry. Wow. That is so awesome. All right, on to our 16th ranked team. We have team 8393. Oh, gosh, this is the giant <laughs> decemo... Giant diencephalic brainstem robotics team. Diencephalic Get a shorter name. Team. Get a shorter <laughs> name, please. Or brainstem. Uh, they are sponsored by Brainstem Learning and NXT Innovations. They are coming from Baden, Pennsylvania. They are going to be in the Ochoa Division at the Detroit Championship. They were such a dominant team last year. I'm oh, yeah. Very interested to see how well they do this year. As Ashan was mentioning, they are uh, very battle tested, as kind of we've been talking about. They know how. To uh, perform center stage. They know what it's like being in front of a crowd of what twenty five thousand people, twenty thousand, however many are at finals. Mm -hmm. um, sure. it'll, just be, it'll just be great to see what goes on. Also, if you get a chance and you're going to Detroit, just go talk to them. Their design process is incredible. Everything on their robot is custom, and everything that they do um, is really cool. Like they even did battle bots one year, and they have I think a part of their broken battle bot in their pit every year. So. Just go talk to them. They're just really cool people in general. For That's sure. crazy. I believe most of their robot is uh, all laser cut out of FR4, which is like a fiberglass polymer. That yeah. is right. I believe that's right. Very crazy. All right, moving yeah. on to our 15th ranked team. We have team 3101. And that's the Boombots coming from Palm Harbor, Florida, sponsored by Palm Garber High School. Uh, they're going to be competing in the Franklin Division at the Houston World Championship. So and we mentioned them Franklin earlier teams. today in the stream. And I think they're going to be a really, really strong team coming into the Franklin division. Right now they're putting up about 40 to 45 minerals per practice match. So it should be wow. interesting to see. Pretty awesome. All right. That's all we have to talk about the Boombots. We move on to our 14th ranked team. We have team 12835. That's Pixelated coming from Granger, Indiana. They are sponsored by the Gears family. Uh, they will be competing at the Detroit Championship in, of course, the Edison Division. Pixelated, we saw one of those really strong. Let's see. Yes, one of those really strong teams. I think they put up 512 fairly recently. Oh, yeah, wow. so they've got their robot reveal playing right now, and they've got a really, really quick slide system, um, so they're able to pick up those minerals really, really fast, and they've got one of the best light packages on any robot that's out there, so um, <laughs> teams, if you're looking to get picked, light packages are the way to go. Um, one of the things that I think a lot of 
teams don't realize about this robot is it's actually got sensors to determine whether a mineral is inside of it. I noticed this because they've got two like really, really bright glowing lights in their mineral intake. And I think especially later on, this could help them as drivers when they're trying to go to that opposite crater. It's so cool that they just like take the sides off that robot and just exposes everything. It's really awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, that'll be really handy during the quick fix at Worlds, and I think that's just crucial for a lot of teams. Oh, it totally. really is. All right, moving on to our 13th ranked team. We have team 8417. And that's the Electric Legends from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. They are a homeschool team. They will be competing in the Ochoa Division at the Detroit Championship. Electric Legends are, I think, a pretty big dog in Ochoa. They're looking really strong. Um, especially for being an arm bot, which is not something we've seen always be super competitive. So yeah. that will be very cool. They'll be quite awesome. And they, their members are just really fun and awesome. They are. And their team branding is really up there. Everything is tied at. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. They're hard to miss. Taken after, right. wild, taken after wild staying. <laughs> for sure. On to our 12th ranked team. We have team 9829. And that's the MakeBots from San Antonio, Texas. They are a community team. They will be competing in the Jeminson division at the Houston World Championship. For sure. MacBots were really strong. I believe yes. over at their tex Texas regional, they won Inspire and winning Alliance Captain. So being strong in both those areas and being good at playing both Crater and Depot is really, really solid. Just, yeah. Totally solid team overall. Mm -hmm. They're pretty standard design. They have the angled intake slides, which yeah. kind of lets them choose. It's more, it's nicer if you don't have a very great sorter, where you can say, I want that ball right over there, instead of being forced to grab right in front of you. By um, the way, Chad is about... correcting you, and I think they're calling it MacBots, not MakeBots. <laughs> oh, MacBots. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and um, one thing about MacBots that I find very interesting is similar to gluten, uh, not gluten, like land bros, is like when they uh, transfer their minerals into the second extension, it's like all the way flush with the back of their robot. It's nowhere near the middle. And I mean, I wonder if this is, I mean, uh, uh, land bros is obviously a very effective team and they've done this. And I wonder if we'll see a couple more teams in Houston that do this and uh, if they can put up some high scores also. For sure. All righty, so on into our 11th ranked team, we have team 4216. That's Rise of Hephaestus from San Diego, California. They are also a community team. They will be competing in the Franklin Division at the Houston Championship. So like we talked about, they're another, they won Worlds back in Velocity Vortex. They're strong. I think they'll be strong again after some refinement. They're looking really hot. Yeah, they're looking great. Okay, on to our 10th ranked team. Breaking into our top 10, we have team 12808. This is uh, the team for our main man, Shishir. This is Revamped Robotics coming from Portland, Oregon. They are a family and community team, and they will be competing in the Franklin Division at the Houston World Championship. This is another, another one of those shooters. Yes, yes, another yeah. solid depot bot like their sister team, and Crater Bot, actually, yes. Yeah. It'll be really interesting. Uh, they are those shooters, so I'm excited to see how much they've improved since Oregon. I think they have potential to be super strong. I mean, the uh, reveal was just amazing, in my opinion. I've gone and watched that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> On to our number ninth ranked team. We have Team 10091. That's Nyan Robotics, not your average nerds from Mundelein, Illinois. They are coming from Mark. It's from Carmel Catholic High School, and they will be competing at Detroit in the Edison Division. Um, so I guess I can take this since they're an Illinois team. Uh, as we talked about, they set, I guess, the new high, highest score in the world in a um, scrimmage with uh, 8680. Um, they're quite awesome. They're generally super consistent. Always a great team. A great group of guys there. Uh, just quite fantastic. Uh, I want to see what Sean. autos they come up with. Like... Their autos are incredible. Um, I don't know if you saw their auto last year. I, they were doing something really, really cool with Vision. I think they were tracking all the glyphs. And so I want to see if they have something just as cool or if not cooler this year. 
and that Yishan earlier predicted them as being one of the possible winning alliances, like with Cracking Pinion against Gluten Free. So we'll see how that plays out. I could totally see that happening. Mm-hmm. Yep, definitely. For sure. Moving on to our number eight ranked team, we have Team 7357. And that's uh, Team Titanium Tech from Lee Summit, Missouri. Uh, they are sponsored by uh, Lee Summit West High School, and they're going to be competing at Houston in the Jeminson Division. Yes, and we also extensively talked about them today on the show. So, oh, this is uh, this is the robot. And as I was saying earlier, it's a very compact and efficient robot. And I mean, I think as a cup bot, they've really mastered the design. That bot sure. looks tiny. Yes, it is. yes. I wonder how much it weighs, because I know there's some really heavy robots out there. This does not seem to be one of them, though. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of driver practice was key to getting that pretty consistent, because mm-hmm. cups look hard to drive. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're right. definitely and, possible to drive, but... Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Moving on to our seventh ranked team, we have Team 104-35. That's Circuit Breakers from Waukee, Iowa. Did I pronounce that right? Yes. Uh, they are from the Waukee uh, Timerland High School, and they are going to be competing at the Detroit Championship in the Edison Division. So they, they were pretty strong. They were the winning alliance first back at Iowa State. They're one of those low-pivot point arm bots with too wide intake, which is fairly unusual. And I'm really excited to see how they end up performing. Something notable is they ran depot for Iowa State finals. They ran, ran with 113.16, excuse me. So I'm interested to see if they've chosen to go back to a running crater for Worlds or if they've mm-hmm. cycled over to the depot side. I know earlier this year they were like they were one of those teams that like put out those like twenty five mineral matches super early in the season. I was just like, wow, like this team is amazing. I, I'm like I'm excited to see how far they go this year. And I mean, it it seems to be that they're going to do really well at Houston or I Detroit. So. Sorry, Detroit. I think so too. All right, in our number six slot, we have Team One Two Two Three One. That's Warrior Tech from Denver, Indiana. They are coming from North Miami Middle and High School. Uh, They're going to be competing at Detroit in the Edison Division. Um, so we, we talked can, about uh, Pixelated, who's running right beside them in this match here. And they were one of those cra- really strong creator bots in Indiana. They put up pretty consistent high scores throughout the early season. And I'm excited to see if they end up shaking up that Edison Division or... How they perform. That I think having. Such a... Go ahead. I was going to say, that's such a compact and small robot there. Like that center of gravity is all the way down. That's that's pretty cool and impressive. I think having these like rotating arm bots is showing how this game doesn't have one meta like it did last year. Last year, the meta was the dump truck style. But this year, there are other designs besides the one slide out, one slide diagonal, that can win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For Agreed, sure. Definitely. Cycling into our number fifth ranked slot, we have Team 724. And that's Redneck Robotics 1 from Sims, uh, Montana. Uh, they are going to be competing at the Houston Championship in the Jeminson Division. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, we talked a lot about Redneck today. Um, they have a awesome team their coach chuck he's an awesome guy uh i'd I'd love to see them do really well uh i guess right since we're right before champs we'll i'll bring this back up do you guys remember that uh uh video that they posted of their um uh their cascade effect robot that they like tipped sideways and were just scoring out of you guys remember that oh yes i remember that and right after the rule right after the rule came out where you can't like where basically it violated I mean, the robot was illegal now, but, like, yeah, that was crazy. It's crazy to think back, well, one, how, how long ago that was, but, two, how OP their robot would have been if uh, they would have been able to do that. For sure. All right, moving into our number fourth rank slot, we have Team 7105. That's Swift, Inter- Swift Robotics, that's Intergalactic Space Llamas from Vass, uh, North Carolina. Um they're sponsored by Swift Robotics Youth Club. They're going to be competing at Houston out of the Franklin Division. For sure. And we saw a ton from Swift. We talked about them a lot so far tonight. And they're just a really solid team. Be really, yeah, really interesting definitely. to see. Yeah, yeah totally. it'll, it'll be good to see how they changed and improved 
from mm -hmm. from their all their state tournaments. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Next, we're uh, breaking into the top three. You guys ready I'm, for this? I'm gonna say. Uh, why don't you guys all throw your top three into the chat really quick? I don't think it's going to be very surprising. Um, Probably not. Let's give them a uh, hint for the top. For the third slot, we have Team 9971. Uh, that's the Land Bros out of Vincenttown, New Jersey. Uh, they are a one-man show there. Uh, they're going to be competing at the <laughs> Detroit Championship out of the Edison Division. Sure. Just a strong robot overall. I mean, um, even though he's not using the diagonal slides that Gluten Free or Kraken Pinion or any of those other teams are using, he's got these vertical slides and he's quick. He just driver practices all day. He's homeschooled. He's got a lot of time to practice it. He's going to get those autos done. He's going to get his bot working. And I think that he's going to put on a really strong showing at Worlds. I think so too. Um, and is Jack a senior this year? He is. Yes, yep. he is. So what's uh, what's the plan for next year and future years to come? I would be just surprised land. if the team continued. I think it's done. <laughs> no bros after that. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So, the I know, as Sean, as no as Sean mentioned, though. it's cool to see just a straight vertical lift do so well this year. And that gives a lot of flexibility, avoiding some penalties that are possible, and also playing depot really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah, you guys ready for our second reg team? Yes, I think let's get a drum roll, chat please. I've already uh, guessed it, but let's see. We have team eighty six eighty, and that's Kraken Pinion from Mequon, Wisconsin. They are sponsored by Homestead High School. They will be competing at the Detroit Championship in the Edison Division. So these guys, oh. we haven't seen a whole lot from eighty six eighty recently. Um, no, no, at least not publicly. So it'll be really, really cool to see how they've improved since back in January. Actually, yeah. you did. Did you see on April 1st, they posted a reveal? Oh, yeah. That was amazing robot. <laughs> yes, very amazing <laughs> robot. For sure. Um, one thing I really want to talk about, Crack and Pinion, that, uh, like, sticks out to me is, like, their um, social following and, like, their social presence is, like, a lot greater than some of these other top teams we've seen. And they've really developed, like, a really good, um, like, a really good just basically, like, internet presence. And, like, um, like a, they've made themselves really well known around the FTC community for people just coming in and as well as, like, all of the people inside it already. And I think that's really cool that they're able to establish themselves as such a well-known team. For sure. And that is cool to see that kind of social media presence take hold and show off how much they do for the community. Yeah, they. I think they hit, like, 1,000 followers on Twitter, I, I think. But, like, I, I just found oh, that crazy. That is crazy. All right. So we can move on to our number one ranked team. I think a surprise to no one. Team 11115. Uh, I thought the number was 3507. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's... One hundred one one five is gluten free from Hollis, New Hampshire. They are a family team. Uh, that's two brothers, actually. They're going to be competing at the Detroit Championship in the Edison Division. For sure. I don't think so, that there's a whole lot to say except they're going to rock it again, just like they did last year, just like they've done for forever. Mm -hmm. um, I think they they hold the current high score in the world, right? I believe oh, Land Bros does right oh, now. Oh, no, 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 Land Bros. With, uh, oh. with they haven't parties. played in an actual match since, I think, mid-February. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been a good while, so it'll be yeah. very, very interesting to see. We saw a little bit of how they've improved, but even in this last week, driver practice and even more auto work can really make a huge difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see if they pull out any weird autos because... While the auto hats do sound straightforward, I would not be surprised if they pull out something completely bizarre that we've not seen before. Mm -hmm. For sure. Mm -hmm. They're robots so smooth and quick. It's just, oh, yeah. just amazing. Do you guys know if there's any like really notable teams that are going to be going under the lander? I know Crack and Pinion did that in the beginning of the season, but like since then, mm -hmm. I've sort of disappeared. I think you just kind of run into too much trouble. Uh, right. Yeah. So probably mm -hmm. not. Like, it surprised. looks like gluten-free could if they lowered their hang, but what's right, the point? Right. There's no advantage to going underneath the lander because you're usually staying to your crater, and if you go underneath the lander, you're going to risk getting penalties by touching the opposing robots while they're scoring. For sure. 
All right. Do we right. roll for our giveaway? Yep. Let's roll for our last giveaway here. Let's. <laughs> uh, we will give Tyler one second. While he does that, uh, just quickly, everyone, uh, where are you going to be at championship? Uh, I think I'll be, I'll be at the Detroit championship with my team. I'll also be doing media stuff for fun. I'm going to be at Houston with my team, so. Uh, I'll mostly be hanging around uh, 7236, who I mentor, and I'm not really sure yet. I'll probably be all around pits. If you see me, make sure to say hi. Yep. Okay. Sean, you're muted. And... Oh, Oops, Sean? Sorry, I was muted. Uh, I'll be in Detroit. <laughs> I'll be hanging out. Um, I'm actually giving a conference as well, so if you're interested, come check that out. Go check out his conference. All right, now let's uh, roll for our giveaway for these Omni Wheels. There we go. Now we got it ready. So, yep, once again, uh, for the awesome Omni Wheels from uh, GoBuilda. And, and by the way, uh, guys, uh, I, both myself and Mike Stark, who are the primary FRC people, will be uh, at both championships, and we will be stopping by FTC at some point, too. So we'd love to talk to some of you, uh, get some interviews, to have you talk about your robot a bit more. Uh, so we'll be delighted to do that. I know Nathan will be doing some of that at Detroit as well. Uh, so make sure you come do that. We'd love to show your robot on air. Uh, winner is going to be Pizza Sap. Interesting name. Uh, congratulations and a subscriber. So lots of rigged emotes in chat because we are clearly rigged it for our subscribers. Uh, and Pete is a subscriber as well. So congratulations. Thanks again. By the way, to go build up for all the fantastic giveaways uh, throughout this season. Uh, we're going to have uh, one more kind of wrap up show. Uh, Nathan, if I remember correctly, that will be uh, after both championships are completed. Is that right? Yes, that is correct. So, yeah, a few more logistics for uh, the rest of the season. Uh, May 1st, I believe at our normal time of 8.30 Eastern time, we're going to be doing a um, Houston uh, recap and a Detroit recap. Uh, so make sure you tune in on Wednesday, May 1st for that at 8.30 Eastern time. Uh, we will also be doing FTC Top 25 again. So uh, voting will open on Saturday, um, April 27th, probably around 8 p.m. Eastern time, whenever FTC ends, I'll start throwing out that <laughs> link. Um, uh, that voting will be open until the following Tuesday, so make sure you vote, 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 vote. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to see actually a lot of fluctuation from the list right now when we actually see who wins these championships. Um, as Tyler just mentioned, uh, Tyler will be at Houston and Detroit. I will be at Houston. I'll be at Detroit. Uh, we are definitely going to be coming around to do a lot of interviews. So uh, please make yourself available. Please say hi. Uh, interviews only take three minutes and then you get to showcase your team and robot. Um, if you did not make the top 25 list, but you would like to know where you placed, uh, you can go on to the uh, first updates now discord if we can throw that into the chat. Uh, and in the FTC top 25 um, channel, please ask us. Um, where uh, just just type in a team number, we will let you know where they were on the list. Uh, remember that these are uh, uh, voting was only for teams attending championships, so uh, you can only ask about teams who are going to be a championship. Um, besides that, I can't really think of anything else. So um, thank you guys very much for supporting the show. Thank you for all of the subscribers that we have received tonight, uh, subs and follows. Um, Don't forget, you guys can subscribe for free if you or your parents have Amazon Prime. If you want to stay connected with what Fun FTC is doing, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Fun FTC. Um, Tyler, can you read off everyone who's pledged their support during the stream? Uh, no, I can't because that, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> is not working right now. But I will just give a big shout out and thank everybody for all the support as we won't keep people here uh, past 1030 uh, Eastern the best we can. So thank you, everybody, for all your support to help us stay loud, light, and independent. We rely 100% on the community to support us for now um, that might change in the future but if the community can continue to support us then we won't be looking at other avenues but i'm always transparent with that stuff uh we might be looking for sponsors in the future but for now uh if we can get enough support from the community we'll rely on you and we thank you guys for helping us out with that so on behalf of myself uh ethan sean abbas and our producer tyler tonight we thank you all very much for tuning in um so have a great night and see you at championship We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.